Right, the Neptune Investments Handicap one mile four event. Um, for 0 to 90 handicappers, one is Idle Vice, Patrick Hogan, two is Cicero, Greg Beckwith, uh, three is Lion Star, Alex Cherry, four is Age of the Drunks, Joshua Sutherland, five a Cathedral, Kensington, Darren French, six is Dolores Abernethy, Dan Hughes, seven Lucia Fury, Patrick Hogan, eight is Avalanche, Obi Wan, nine Gambit, Martin Needham, ten also from the Martin Needham said Ballerina Girl, the two pa uh, Graham Calibre horses, and Trinity Crystal, a New Order, Jack Cherry, Stu Gray, Snow Martin, Craig Beckwith, Marianne Antoinette, Kevin Biddigan, and Dancing on Ice, Obi Wan. So 16 horses you had Ascot, and away they go. And a good break up the inside by um, Ballerina Queen, but been passed now by Cicero, and it's the Craig Beth where Cicero goes to the front from Dolores Abernethy in second for Dan Hughes, Grey Horse. Then comes uh, Ballerina Queen, with on that one's inside, um, was a Craig Boss was Snow Martin out very wide is Eternity Crystal with Jack Cherry in between horses then comes Gambit also travelling wide at this stage is New Order they're followed by Marie Antoinette also going quite wide just ahead of that he's dancing on ice followed by Lucia Fury for Patrick Hogan on the rail is Avalanche in between horses is Cathedral Kensington for Darren French out wide is um, Idle Vice for Patrick Hogan at the back of the field Lion Star for Alex Cherry so Cicero gone about five lengths clear of this field Ballerina Queen, Ballerina Queen in second, age of the drunks for Joshua Sullivan on that one's outside, on the rail is Dolores Abernethy for Dan Hughes, travelling very wild, Eternity Crystal with New Order on that one's inside, then comes Gambit in between horses, just behind those uh, leaders is Snow, Snow Martin, then follows Lucia Fury, uh, trying to creep closer, Jack Cherry on that one's outside, travelling very wide at this stage, dancing on ice and also going wide, um, even wide is Marie Antoinette, um, Darren French is also Cathedral Kenston just behind that with uh, Avalanche on that one's inside, the Grey was passing um, Cathedral Kenston is Idle Vice and Lion Star at the back of the field. So Cicero takes him along. Three lengths clear of Age of the Trunks in second. The wide travelling uh, Eternity Crystal for Graham Clatterbuck. He's been passed now by Gambit for Martin Needham. Up on the inside, Ballerina Queen and Dolores Abathy are moving, making early moves. Also trying to get going is Snow Martin. So Cicero has cried enough and Dolores Abathy takes it up as they approach the, the turn for home. Dolores Abathy for Dan Hughes from Cicero in second. Then comes the two Martin Needham, also Gambit and Ballerina Queen. They're followed by Age of the Trunks for Josh and Sullen. Jack Cherry is out wide with Eternity Crystal on his arm. So then comes uh, Snow Martin, Lucia Fury is going, being pushed along to try and prove on the rail is um, uh, Avalanche, Marie Antoinette is out wide, it's uh, Cicero from on the inside to Laura's Abernethy who's in the front, he takes it up now to Laura's Abernethy for Dan Hughes from Cicero for Craig Beckwith, then the, the rest of the muscle is the Paddy Water behind that because that Laura's Abernethy has gone clear from Cicero in second, it's the Laura's Abernethy with a phone and a half to travel just clear from Cicero, nothing makes mouth make an impression on behind, the Laura's Abernethy but Cicero picks it up again and Cicero has got back to the lead now, Cicero from Age of the Drunks between horses, Jack Cherry is trying to run out for Stu Gray Cicero, here comes Jack Cherry for Stu Gray, and in between horses flying is Ballerina Queen, but Cicero holds on. Cicero holds on from Jack Terry, Ballerina Queen was third, and Cicero, who led for a long way, was passed by Dolores Abbott, he picks it up again, and wins hard, well, wins hard held, really, from Jack Cherry in second. Cicero wins from uh, Craig Beckwith, East Coast home, Jack Cherry was second, uh, for Stu Gray was hampered so was slightly unlucky. Uh, third was Ballerina Queen for Martin Needham. Th fourth was Snow Martin, another Craig Beckwith. Or Gambit was first for Martin Needham. So um, Cicero wins for Craig Beckwith, win with a lot in hand because it was ease close home. Unlucky Jack Cherry for Stu Gray back in second. But I don't think he would have beaten the winner anyway.